Hezbollah flags and march through uh, the streets of London. The Hezbollah flag, as you probably know, has a gun and assault rifle on the front, and it causes great distress and alarm to lots of people. Um, you did mention the loophole that allows it to happen, in that the political wing of Hezbollah is not prescribed as a terrorist organization, whereas the, the military wing is. Um, unlike countries like the United States, Israel, France, and the Netherlands, where the whole of Hezbollah is prescribed as a terrorist organization. Now, in the Mayor's question time last year, on the 20th of July, I did ask you about that, whether you would call for the political wing of Hezbollah to be prescribed, and you would probably need to approach Amber Rudd, the Home Secretary, to do that. And you said, no, that's not what I've committed to, to do. But in the light of everything that's happened this year, uh, and what you know now is maybe more than what you knew 11 months ago after a year in the job. I want to ask you again, Mr. Mayor, will you call or do anything to ask and see that the political wing of Hezbollah is proscribed as a terrorist organization in this country? Because that will close the loophole that stops people marching through the streets of London with a flag with a gun on it. Well, there's nothing stopping you writing to the Home Secretary. I will, and I, I hope you sure will wish you me success. But you, as, well, the, as the Mayor, uh, are in a very, very powerful position. If you do this, it will be a very powerful well, voice to can, stop can this I, loop, suggest, to close this loophole. Can I suggest, Chair, that the Assembly Member sends me all the letters he sent over the last year, which I'll consider, uh, and then I'll, I'll read those letters he sent and then decide whether to do so. But I remember the representations made by Senator Dismore, Senator Bacon, and others after uh, the uh, march uh, last year. Uh, and I was concerned by representations made from the community, which is why I discussed this matter with the Commissioner uh, and wrote to her. Uh, you'll be aware, of course, uh, being well versed with the law, but as the Home Secretary decides whether um, uh, marches take place, but also whether organisations are prescribed. Mm. Uh, and once I've read your letters setting up the evidence, uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll consider whether the right and Home Secretary is the right thing to do. Okay. It seems I have a, an answer. You didn't frankly have the balls to put country before party.